how do you put the fun back into your home business? There's a lot of pressure involved, you know, when you're trying to build a home business, things may be not going to plan, maybe taking longer than you'd expected, right? You kind of found that, that, that you set these goals and then it never quite materializes. So you can feel this pressure. Like I remember when I first started in home business, I was like 50 grand in debt, three weeks away from losing our property. Um, you know, and I got my daughter looking at me, I got my wife looking at me and I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? So I was like, please join me, anybody, please join me, right? S buy some stuff. So I was really pressured and stressed when I was building it. And what you'll find when you do that, and here's a bit of a revelation for me, maybe it is for you, is have you noticed that if someone comes to you and they feel pushy, you don't really, doesn't really feel good, does it? Like if, if someone tries to sell you anything, someone tries to give you anything, even if it's free, if they're like pushy about it, if they seem like stressed or desperate, you're like, I, something doesn't feel right. I don't really want to do that. Well, that's the same thing that you may be carrying over in terms of your energy and approach into your business. Now, I, I'm not going to pretend that it isn't difficult, right? I, I don't know your life. Think about the hardest things that are going in your, on in your life right now. It may be difficult for you to kind of hide that or contain that when you're speaking to people about your business. You, you may be desperate to make a sale, but just try your best to, to, to kind of put that on the back burner. Try and do a little bit of something to keep you positive and keep you fun when you're talking to people. Because they've already got the stress of a job. They've already got the stress of their own pressures. They don't want to feel yours as well. It doesn't feel right, just like I said, you know, if someone does the same thing to you. So number one way that you can put the fun back into your home business is, let me ask you this question. Are you going all out to create results in your business? Like, it's no good saying, oh, Richard, I hate my business. It's so stressful. It's so bad. And like, boo-hoo. And I say, okay, well, how, what did you do with your business this week? How did you progress? And you're like, well, I haven't really put any time into it. It's like, what do you expect? Like, you know, you want to get this result, but you don't want to do the action. The two don't go together. So the quickest way you can kind of turn things around is to make sure, ask yourself, are you going all out to create the results? Because we're like, we're easily pleased. Nowadays, you know, I'm, I'm grateful to do five figures a month in our home business, but still I get like one sign up or I make one sale and I'm like, woo, doing a dance around the living room, like cheering, let's go out for dinner, you know? Throw, I may have only made $20 commission, but I'm throwing the money everywhere and then someone says no and I'm like, oh God, maybe it doesn't work. It's terrible, you know? So if you can create a result and another result, another result, then, you know, you can feel a lot better, right? Instantly. We're so easily pleased as network marketers, right? That's number one. It's the hardest thing to do, but it's the simplest thing to do, right? You're in total control of that. A second way you can put the fun back into building your home business is who are you surrounded by? Like, if I heard Ray once when my friend said, you know, don't don't surround yourself with the Eeyores of MLM. Like, people like, oh, it doesn't work, it's a scam, or people who just don't want to see you win. D don't give yourself your time to that. One of the most um, kind of advantageous things you can do for yourself and to put the fun back in things is to choose your peer group wisely. Now you can still stay friends with people. I'm not saying you've got to like cut people out your life, but in honesty, ask yourself, are there some people who you really could do with like a little bit of distance from for a little bit of time until you get yourself a little bit stronger? You know, like I, I went through health issues, relationship problems, all, all kind of things. And you know, I felt weaker than I normally felt, you know, a few years ago. And it was no, I couldn't be around and take other people's like rubbish on board at the same time. Maybe you're kind of letting people dump on you a little bit too much. If you need to increase your own strength and get your own energy up, if you feel a little bit down about things, you know, protect yourself, look after yourself. It isn't selfish, it's selfless. Because when you go create success, when you allow that room for you to expand and to kind of grow back into feeling the better version of you, the results you create, the story you'll be able to tell will inspire many more people than perhaps the one or two who you're letting kind of suck out the life out of, like, a, like a vampire right now, right? Uh, the third thing I want to give you, kind of the final reason I want to give you is, you know, look, look, at, look at the process that you use. Like we all enjoy the goals, right? Think about that. We all enjoy, what, what's the goal you've got in your business right now? What are you working towards? It could be a small goal, like something you want to do next week. It could be like something long term, like a property or charity, you know, whatever it is. Right. And that's fun when we think about that. Right. You're like, oh, yeah, man, I really want to live that lifestyle. But if that that will change. Mark my words, like the goals I have now and perhaps you do, too. They've changed over time. So you never actually get there. 
That's like that was a real revelation for me. I was always pushing myself so hard, like I gotta get that goal, I gotta get that goal. It was just stressful. And when you achieve that, you're like, yeah, I signed up three people, but I could have signed up five. And I always felt disappointed in myself. And maybe you're kind of too hard on yourself as well. So you need to fall in love with the process that reaches those goals for you. Because as you grow, as you get a better marketer, as you get more successful, your goals are going to keep on moving up. And you're always going to feel like you're like behind if you adopt that approach. So pick a way to build your home business that you really, really enjoy. Like it could take you three to five years of your life to reach the goal, the goal that you've got on your mind right now. Like what is that main goal? It could take you three to five years. If it starts taking you longer and you hate the way you're building your business, you're not going to do it. It's like, imagine if you wanted to lose some weight. I could do a losing a little bit as well. But if someone said to me, you've got to eat, I don't know, what do I really not like to eat? Like raw sprouts, just off the top of my head. That's like a really childish thing to say. I don't like sprouts. But imagine, imagine if that's all you could eat. Like you can lose weight, but you just got to eat raw sprouts, Richard, forever. I'd last like a day, two days with raw sprouts, my family would probably kick me outside, right, for obvious reasons. But I just wouldn't follow through with that because I'd hate to eat those, I'd be miserable. So if you're building your business just in a way, just because you saw someone else building success with it and you really don't like it, you're gonna look miserable. People aren't gonna wanna join you. You're gonna be like the Eeyore of MLM, like, I'm join my team, it's horrible, but you will make money eventually. They're gonna be like, I don't wanna do that. I feel that way when I go to my job. This guy or this girl, like, are you bringing people down? So if you don't wanna, I don't know, do home meetings, there's plenty of alternatives to that. If you don't wanna do, like, a website, there's alternatives to that. I, I recommend that you do for security, but you don't have to. I'm not your boss, your upline's not your boss, you're your boss. That's a huge benefit of being here, right? As a home business owner, you're an entrepreneur, you can pick and choose the methods. It all works if you want to work it well. So that's my third and final kind of way to put the fun back into things. Pick a method that you enjoy, look at your peer group, you know, and go all out to create some progress so that then you can actually feel excited about things. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you did, um, let me know. Feel free to put this in the hands of your team if you think that maybe someone who's connected to you on social media or uh, some of your team members, your upline, downline, sideline, like firing line, I don't know, whatever they could do with it, then you know this content is free to share. You can go to richardmathrew.com. It's there 24-7. There's like 700 free pieces of training now just like this one. What I recommend that you do over there is if you click on the blog link when you get there, there's a little search bar. Whatever topic, what do you need help with right now? Recruiting, lead generation, mindset, using Facebook, whatever it is you need help with, I've set it up so that there's keywords all over that site. You type in the topic that you need help with, something will pop up that I've created for completely free. And I always make a point of this. I'm a network marketer. I'm a consultant for many network marketing, for companies, for, for top earner reps, many, many different people. So what I'm teaching you is working right now. This isn't something that worked 20 years ago. This isn't a tip based on just like theory of a book I read a long time ago. This is working for me, it's working for my clients, it's working for entire companies that I've helped launch. So whenever you see something of mine, you can feel confident to go and put it into your business with like with some energy and with some belief. I always wanna do something that helps you right here, right now to make some progress in your business, even if it's just a little bit. Life is about progress. If you can see some, I know you're going to follow through and the results are always going to be worth it. So go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses and I'll catch you on another training really soon. Bye for now.